Picture this, you know exactly what you want, but you're just not sure how to get there. I want to share with you the story of Michael Phelps and how he used the habit of visualization to support his story and ultimately his athletic achievements. If you don't know who Michael Phelps is, he's the most decorated Olympian of all time with a total of 28 medals to his name, 23 of which are gold. So let's dive in, pun intended. When Michael Phelps won the gold at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, as well as the other achievements in London 2012 and the other Olympics prior, he followed the same routine for every race. He'd arrive early and follow a highly specific game plan. Not only did his coach, Bob Bowman, give him a physical routine to execute on, but he also gave Phelps a specific routine for what to think about as he went to sleep and first thing when he woke up. He called it watching the videotape. And the tape itself was a visualization of the perfect race. He would go into granular detail and put the videotape in his mind and play it in slow motion. He would step on the block the way he'd swing his arms, the amount of pressure needed to push off, each kick, each turn. It sounds a bit much, doesn't it? But I suppose it depends on how much do you want what you want. The more specific you can get with your visualization, the more powerful it becomes. This mental routine and visual practice was so ingrained for Phelps that when things didn't always go to plan, the sheer volume of practice and repetition allowed him to still succeed. An example of this was on the 200 meter butterfly in Beijing. On the first lap, Phelps' goggles started to fill up with water and so he had to rely on counting his strokes to finish the race. The genius in his routine allowed him to replicate a flow state in his performance every single time. When it comes to visualization and manifesting what you want in your life, it's best to start with one focus in one area. By doing this, it will strengthen the specific visual you set out for yourself and improve focus. Too many visuals at once will simply become diluted and lose their power. So, why can this be powerful for you and your family's life? Well, our minds think in pictures, and ultimately, we're the ones holding the camera, which means we can use it to our benefit if we're looking to improve the results in our life. For example, I want you to think about the word kitchen Right there, you've probably got a picture in your mind of either your own kitchen, how it looks, what's on the counter, or you may be seeing your dream kitchen. The point here is that the word instantly formed a picture in your mind, right? The word kitchen didn't show up in word form, a picture did. Our mind thinks in pictures. And when you combine visualization and repetition, you create a routine and you can manifest great things in your life. So, what area in your life would you like to improve? Up level, make better. Picture it, add in as much detail as possible, assign emotion to the picture. How will you feel when you've reached that goal? Place yourself in the picture, that's important. Repeat it often. Play your own videotape. This isn't about, you know, jumping in a pool and becoming the next Michael Phelps. That's his story. This is about you, your goals, your dreams, for you and your family. So set the lights on in the brain. 
focus on one picture in the camera roll and take action. Visualize exactly what you want. Lights, camera, action. Thanks for listening, guys. From our family to yours, all the best. Keep climbing. <laughs>